Welcome back to Inside Star Trek on E! I'm Michael Kastner. We've been spending time with the cast and crew on the set of Star Trek The Next Generation. Now, despite the long hours of makeup, rehearsal, and actual shooting, this is a group who really likes coming to work. Even so, everyone needs some time away for a little R&R, &R, and for some cast members, life off the set is as much fun as their day job. Bar. Settle, please. And action. On the set of The Next Generation, actor Michael Dorn plays Lieutenant Worf, a powerful Klingon warrior who is the first of his race to serve on a Starfleet vessel. I think he's very cool. I think he's very cool. I think, I think he has a lot of, uh, of what we all would like to, to be. And I mean, he really is, his, his, his emotions are, are out there. When he's not on the Starship Enterprise, Dorn is into his own kind of space. Jets. Well, actually, I, I have a, it's an it's a experimental you know, 60s era jet called the Akasa uh, jet that I've, that I've been flying. And, um, but at every opportunity I, I, I have, I go to some of the air bases, Air Force bases and Navy bases, and fly what they have. That's right, this guy's a pilot, and he's got the pictures to prove it. The helmet and the flight suit is, is all part of the thing. It helps you fly better to be dressed correctly. In fact, I probably should um, give you, get you a shot of my flying boots also that we have. Uh, I just got in the mail. A lot of people can look at our show as reality and really get into it, and, and that's good. That's very good. I, you know, we want them to be, you know, to think of it as, you know, as real as possible, because that's what we're trying to do. We're trying to portray these characters as real as possible. So, um, but, you know, what I, you know, my hobby is more reality than, than out there in space and things. We'll leave Michael to enjoy his day off and head back to the set of Star Trek The Next Generation, where actor Ben Vereen is living a dream come true. Longtime fan Vereen is establishing the role of Dr. LaForge, father to LeVar Burton's character, Jordy. Guest appearances are a series trademark, and it's hard to tell who's more excited about the visit, the crew, or the celebrity trekker. You know, I was dreaming of this, and um, a couple of weeks ago, my manager called and said, you know, they'd like for you to come out and play Lamar's father. And it didn't hit me right away. And I was doing, uh, in doing the show, Jelly's Last Jam on Broadway, and all of a sudden I was walking backstage behind and the show was going on, and it dawned on me what she had said, and I screamed. I screamed, and meanwhile, um, Brian Mitchell, who plays the part of Jelly, was on stage, and he hears someone in the background going, Yeah! All right! As many times as you like, man. Okay, let's do it again. This is a victory. Uh, who better does it? Mmm, uh, uh, mm <laughs> okay. Make a face. Vereen's presence on the set is a real thrill for LeVar Burton. He idolized the versatile Vereen long before they met on the set of the acclaimed miniseries, Roots. Ben is a major part of why I got into this business. I mean, I, when I was a junior in high school, I traveled across country from California to New York, and the main purpose of the trip for me was to see him at the Imperial Theater in Pippin, and I waited two hours at the backstage door for him to come down, and I got a picture, and I had him sign my program, and, you know, and then years later, when, uh, when we both did Roots, I had an opportunity to show him that picture, and, you know, and so it's, it's uh, our, our history has been an intense one, and we've never worked together before. Settle, please. And action. How are you, Dad? As well as can be expected under the circumstances. We talk about the fact of being in the 24th century together. But your sister and I... And the consciousness of that and what it means to the planet. Starfleet is considering the hero lost. The search isn't much more than a formality at this point. And that's the one thing I love about the show. Because when you think about Star Trek, there is no, no barriers as far as uh, racial barriers, as far as uh, consciousness barriers. You know, it's, just, it's about beyond the scope of our small, not small, our perception of where life is today. All right, Jordy. Call me if you need anything. Very nice. Great. Yep. 
Okay. Is that it? That's, That's it. it? That's it? You came here for that? <laughs> I, came, I came here for that. <laughs> no, he came here to establish a character is what he did. Yes, I did. It's always cool when your friends can come and play with you on your job. Oh, man. This is... Mm, thank you. Thank you know what was real special? Receiving my itinerary, and at the bottom it says, Welcome to the 24th Century. And the 24th century is just where I'll be going later on in the show. But coming up, we're traveling to the farthest edge of the galaxy. That's right. We're going to Star Trek Deep Space Nine. So hold on through this commercial break.